Good morning. Well, I just thought I would share our little trip to the doctor yesterday that we took with my father. Uh, my father was sent to a neurologist to have him checked out, looked at for memory loss and whatnot, because all this time we thought he's just getting Alzheimer's, he's getting worse and worse and worse. So, we go to see this neurologist in Oklahoma City, and we get in there, and this neurologist is an older man, he's wearing a suit and tie, uh, which, you know, that's okay, he wasn't wearing a lab coat like most doctors do, and he's performing a memory test on my father, and you know, in my head, I'm going through the memory test, too. And it was, wasn't real hard, but it was kind of hard. And one of the things he had my father do was he gave him three things he wanted him to remember. It was the color purple, a book, and corn. He's like, you got those in your head? And my dad's like, yeah. So he continues on his test, and later on he comes back. He goes, what were those three things I should remember? My father was like, uh. uh he's like, well, one of them was a color. And dad's like, purple? He goes, and what else? And dad's like, yeah, I can't remember. So that wasn't very good. So the doctor also orders his MRI from two years ago. Um, two years ago, his sinuses were bugging him tremendously bad. So he snorted a whole bunch of nasal spray. And he goes out and has this MRI done that he had already had scheduled. And the nasal spray, what we were told made it look like he was having a massive aneurysm and they like freaked out, threw him in an ambulance, same in Oklahoma City, scared the hell out of all of us and we all went running up there and then come to find out they do an MRI in Oklahoma City and they say well it's because he snorted a bunch of nasal spray and you know they left him for observation overnight and then they sent him home so we thought no big deal so this doctor orders that MRI and he looks at it and he's like well he did have bleeding on the brain, he did have like a mini stroke then. And we're like, that's not what the, doc that's not what the hospital told us. You know, my mother was just like, what? What the hell? They, no, they said it was because of the nail spray. And he's like, no, I'm looking right here at the report. So I was like, oh, that's nice. So they didn't even tell us the truth when he was in the hospital two years ago. But um, this nasal spray that my father uh, treats like uh, cocaine is causing him a lot of issues with his health because his allergies are so bad because uh, he won't stop the dairy, he won't stop the wheat, he won't stop the meat, he won't listen to me. He'll drink, he'll sit there and drink his super smoothie and eat one of those disgusting little senior meals that I've showed you guys. So, but you know, when you buy a n bottle of nose spray and you use it in two days versus using it for an entire month or two, uh, that's going to cause issues. You know, so this doctor didn't seem to think that he's having, he has Alzheimer's. He thinks what he's has got going on, he's having a bunch of little mini strokes, you know. Because he's, he's, you know, he does the nasal spray, that screws him up, jacks up his pr blood pressure and all that stuff. Um, he also, you know, he'll drink like one beer one day, one beer one day, one beer one day. And then over the weekend, he'll drink like a whole 12 pack. So that's you know, got him jacked up also. So, you know, the doctor's doing all this stuff. One of the questions I asked the doctor, I was like, doctor, could you please explain to both my parents how important it is to be hydrated for proper brain function and, you know, how much water they should be drinking a day? And he kind of sighs and he's like, well, he's correct. It is, you know, you do have to do proper you know, I'm not talking one glass a day, but you need to get proper hydration. It is very important to your brain function. So you guys need to be drinking more water. I was like, okay, thank you. So throughout the conversation, I'm like, I tell the doctor, I'm like, well, have you had any, done any research or seen anybody that has used like juicing or raw foods or vegan lifestyle to help the issues that he's having? He flat looks at me and goes, well, I've never seen any reports or anybody change their diet and affect their health and reverse an issue like this. And I was just like, 
really? I mean, in my head, I'm going through a thousand things. I'm like, oh, I could like take the whole raw food Bible forks over knives and just club this guy over the head with it and say, or say, you know, oh, look at me, you know, really? You've never seen anybody? You know, oh, wow. I mean, I was ready just to let this doctor have it. But in my head, I was like, it clicked real quick, and I was just like, why go there? This guy's older. He's just buying time till retirement. He's on cruise control. Why even waste the energy? And I thought to myself, what's this button-down collar white doctor? What, what can I say to get his go? So I, I smile, and I'm like, well, have you seen the latest studies about juicing raw cannabis and all the benefits to stimulating neural activity in the brain? <laughs> and he leans back and gets this smirk on his face. He's like, well, there was a Stanford University, Stanford University study done in 1970 that proved that that's just a bunch of hooey. <laughs> and I was like, wow. 1970s? 1970! Maybe we should need to do a memory test on you. I mean, what year is it, sir? So I just smiled and I was like, okay, whatever. And I looked at my mom like, and she gave me a look like, 1970? And we talked about it later. I was like, 1970. Wow. I think some things have freaking changed and happened since 1970 one freaking study. See, that's the issue with doctors. They see one study. They don't know who does the study. Of course, it was approved by the American Medical Association because they have seen it. They don't look at stuff that's not done by, you know, like the uh, institutes for uh, alternative medicines do tons of studies that never get seen or looked at by the American Home Journal, you know, because, uh, you know, the, the Medical Emotion Association, that's the only thing to go by. Those guys wrote all the rules. So, it's just sad and pathetic that that's the mindset of doctors are so close-minded to this stuff. But anyway, so I got a lot of work to do on my father, and there's some specific juices I'm going to be working on with him. Um, in July, after I get moved and settled and we'll think a few more things calm down, they have committed to doing nothing. I was like, you guys, give me 30 days. Give me 30 days. That's all I'm asking for. You eat, drink, and consume nothing that I don't put in front of you. If you can't handle all juice, we'll do juice and raw foods. If you can't handle some raw foods, if dad doesn't like eating salads, I'll make him some cooked vegan foods. 30 days, and nothing goes in your bodies except for what I tell you to do. Mom committed to it. I don't know if dad understood or heard the whole conversation, but that's what we're going to be doing. So it'll be an, an interesting little thing to do on, with them for 30 days. Because, you know, I've been making them juice and taking them juice every single day. But like I said, my father will sit there and eat one of those disgusting, nutritionally dead, gross senior meals and sit there and drink his juice while he's eating his, these meals. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just like, you know, I take my mother four or five juices a day, and then she'll eat some garbage for lunch. So she's not losing weight. She's feeling like crap. She urinates all the time. She's got diarrhea. And it's like your body is in a constant state of flux. It can't heal. You're getting alkaline, then you get acidic. You get alkaline, then you get acidic. So you're just effing yourself up. So that's something else I'm going to be doing over the next 30, 40, 50 days. So... But I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was a little ridiculous. So, and somebody pointed out that I say so a lot in my videos. So now I'm all self-conscious every time I say the word so. Maybe I should start saying but I again. But um, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow, I don't think we're going to be doing a just video because I've got to make an announcement. Let you guys know exactly what the next plan is. What the next leg of this journey is going to be about. So you take care. Have a great day.